Okay, I am not a pretty sight when I wash my face. I look like a fish gasping for air or gasping for water. They don't gasp for air, they're underwater. Gasping for water. <laughs> I am so excited to be able to show you my skincare routine because I am usually used to reacting to skincare routines. I'm not used to showing other people my skincare routine. And especially because it's switching so often, I feel like there's no sense of normalcy. But now I'm excited to reveal it to you guys because so many of you have been asking and yeah, this is just gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, I hope that you can appreciate that I'm wearing a robe because it's low key 85 degrees and I'm actually pretty hot. But you know what? I wanted to stick with wearing a robe because it's a go to bed with me. I don't get this chance every day. <laughs> um, you are also joined with me in my room, not my bathroom, because my bathroom is the size of a shoebox, and I figured that you probably don't want to be seeing up my nostrils my entire skincare routine. So we're here instead, so I may have to run in and out to wash my face. <laughs> I'm going to be using in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products with one skincare tool. So nine products all together. I'm really excited to go through them because these are some new goodies that I found that I haven't shared with many people. So first thing I do is I use a cleansing balm. I'm specifically using the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. I like this one because, well, I like cleansing balms in general because they're a great way of just dissolving the sunscreen and the excess oil and dirt buildup that has accumulated throughout the day off of your skin. Um, cleansing oils are nice, but sometimes they can be a little bit messy, which is why I like cleansing balms. But typically I don't go for a lot of cleansing balms because they have an ingredient called polyethylene, which is plastic. And I kind of don't want to be putting plastic on my face and having it go down the drain. And this one is polyethylene free, which is why I really like it. So I usually just take a little bit. There's some skincare ASMR. Woo! <laughs> this stuff is like a mango smoothie on the skin. I love applying it because it applies so smoothly and it's formulated with a lot of rich hydrating oils that are really great for nourishing the skin, which I think is awesome because the cleansing system can usually be a little bit stripping to the skin. And a lot of people don't realize that cleansing can be the most damaging part of the skincare routine if we're not careful. And I really like that this one is formulated with so many oils to just really soften and nourish my skin. It does have fragrance and anyone who watches my channel knows that I do not like fragrance, but I'm okay with it in a wash off treatment. So in my wash off treatments is when I get to splurge a little bit because it's not gonna be on my face very long. It's gonna be on there for like a maximum of 30 seconds before I rinse it off. So I'm not really gonna see any sensitivities or risks associated with fragrance. I make sure to get on my under eye area so I don't forget there. And just gently working into the skin everywhere. I always used to think cleansing oils and cleansing balms were for people who wore makeup every day, but I actually think they should be used by everyone uh, because sunscreen is a tricky little thing to get off your skin. And especially with the amount of sunscreen I wear, which is, hint, a lot, <laughs> a lot every single day. I'm like anal about making sure I avoid the sun as much as possible. A cleansing balm is definitely smart for me. And then after I make sure I've gotten every part of my skin, I just rinse it off with water and then immediately go in with my cleanser, which I just do all in one swoop. My favorite cleanser, the one that I have to use all the time, otherwise my skin freaks out, is the Use to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Cleanser. This one, I don't know why my skin gets so upset every time I discontinue using this for my routine. I'll try to experiment with new cleansers and my skin's like, what the heck, bro? Why did you do that? So this one is a pretty integral part of my routine. I also really like it because I have combination to more oily skin and being that it is summer right now in Hawaii and it's very humid, of course, I tend to be really, really oily. So I need a cleanser that's going to deeply cleanse my skin, get everything out of my pores to make sure that they're not clogged. They're not going to accumulate dead skin cells and dirt over time. And this one does a great job of doing that. But my skin doesn't feel overly stripped afterwards, which is tricky to find because some cleansers I find work so well that afterwards my skin is like <sighs> gasping for water. It's like the Sahara Desert again. So I'm gonna rinse off and start applying this. So usually I take about a full pump and it's just gently massage it into my skin. Last time I did this on video, um, my eyes ended up burning so badly because I'm not used to having my eyes open while cleansing my skin and my eyes are very, very, very sensitive. So, I'm gonna be very careful, maybe close my eyes for this. I found that sometimes this cleanser can be a little bit too harsh during the winter time because during the winter my, ten my skin tends to dry out a lot more, especially in the cheek area, it gets really, really dry. And anytime I travel to the mainland, whoo, my skin gets so, so, so dry. I actually used to struggle with eczema a lot. Thankfully I don't anymore. 
being in a more humid environment, but yeah, this cleanser really only works for when it's particularly humid and my skin is being extra oily. Okay, once I feel that my skin is clean enough, I go over to the bathroom. I'm still not opening my eyes, and this is gonna be a struggle trying to walk to the sink <laughs> to wash my face off, but you know, I'm gonna do my best. Wish me luck. Wow, I made it over to the bathroom with my eyes closed, and I did not spill on my shirt. Cha cha! I don't always win that battle, but today I did, I guess. Woo! Also, if you notice that my skin is a little bit red, I have reactive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. My skin can actually handle a lot of products, ingredients, testing, et cetera, et cetera, but it is reactive. If the wind blows, my skin's like, poof, inflammation instantly. Next, I go in with a new step that I haven't been using for very long. It's the Instree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Now, normally, I'm not a big toner person because I don't really feel that they're necessary to a skincare routine, but this product, the first ingredient is green tea extract the first ingredient and it's like super affordable and normally products with that high of a concentration of green tea, heck even less of a concentration of green tea are super, super expensive. So I was pleasantly surprised to find this. And I also don't use a cotton pad. I just put it in my palms and pat it into my skin. You know, it's funny, my nighttime routine was not always this um, complete. I used to be extremely bad at doing a nighttime routine, but once I figured out to put like my nighttime skincare right next to my bed and have a micellar water there to just like do my entire skincare routine while laying down, I slowly started getting into a nighttime skincare routine until, you know, now, which I'm like fully addicted. But for anyone out there who is struggling to keep up with a consistent nighttime routine, I'm always recommending that because it definitely helped my skin. I also really like using the ingredient green tea because it's great for soothing inflammation and redness. It also may have some anti-aging benefits. It's just overall a really good skin healing agent that I really like to use. So after that step, I make sure my skin is completely dry before I go in with the next one. And that's important because the next product I use is from Verst. It's the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Retinol is one of my favorite ingredients for just repairing so much damage within the skin. It's so well researched. There's so many benefits to it. And I think it's a must, especially considering like like how much sun exposure I get here and just the stressors and the fact that I do age so quickly, retinol is a must step in my skincare routine. For a few months I went off of retinol and I've been slowly like making my way back into it and this one's a more gentle formula so it's better and more ideal to make sure that like my skin doesn't you know freak out when I start to use it. And I've been using it for a couple weeks and so far I've been really enjoying the experience. It's funny though, so many people are like, oh my gosh, you can't use retinol, you're too young to use retinol, et cetera, et cetera. And I think what a lot of people don't realize is that the reason I started my skincare YouTube channel is because of aging that I was seeing in my skin. I had wrinkles all over my face, deep set one on my forehead, underneath my eyes. And before that, I never really thought anything of skincare. I thought it was just something like, older ladies used because they wanted to feel fancy. <laughs> but as soon as I started using skincare and I started incorporating exfoliants into my skincare routine and retinol, I quickly realized that it was actually effective because the wrinkles in my face were going away. And now thankfully I've managed to, you know, keep them at bay for some time. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm very expressive and I'm white, so I age like a raisin. <laughs> So I just took two pumps of that and applied it into my skin. One of the reasons I like that one is because retinol typically usually comes in very thick, heavy creams. And I wanna be able to utilize retinol, but also be able to apply other products on top of it afterwards. This one is a must in my skincare routine, the Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty. When I first found this product, didn't, it was, I was in such a dark place. I don't know where I was before this. This like saved my skin, <laughs> which sounds dramatic, but hello. That's me. <laughs> this one I specifically love because what it focuses on is helping to repair the skin's moisture barrier. And I think what we don't realize is that we tend to just pummel our skin with so many treatments, at least I do. So that sometimes I forget that, you know, the health of the skin is just as important as seeing results. And those two things are not interchangeable. Your skin can be, you know, seeing really good results in terms of like exfoliation and retinol, but not be adequately healthy. And this is a great product for just making sure that my moisture barrier is as strong as possible. And when I started using this product, I immediately noticed that the redness in my face was gone. My skin was more hydrated. I didn't need to, you know, uh, worry about as much excessive oiliness throughout the day because it's formulated with niacinamide. It has tamanu oil. So I started noticing like a brightness and getting rid of dark spots and sunspots on my face. Just so many different benefits that I started noticing from this product. 
So after I apply that product, I go in with a final moisturizer because this alone, it, it can be used as a moisturizer, but I would say it doesn't have enough inclusive agents to really form the protective seal to prevent me from losing water through my skin overnight. If you know that process, it's called transepidermal water loss. I'm constantly talking about it. Um, but I just wanna always make sure that I have a final seal to prevent any of that water loss, but I don't like going in with really heavy creams after doing this many products, which is why I have been absolutely loving the Rovectin Clean Water Cream. It comes with little stickers that you can put on the bottle, so I customize my own. It's cute. This one I love because it's formulated with a crazy high concentration of lotus, which is great for, you know, reducing sensitivity and irritation in the face and also for, you know, potentially being anti-aging and antioxidant properties. But I specifically love this one because it's a very lightweight water cream, so it absorbs into the skin so quickly and does not feel heavy. I've actually been really liking using this one during the day because I can ensure that it will not make my skin look really oily or greasy, something that's really important to me, particularly during the summer. Always make sure I apply on the neck. Funny enough, dragging upwards on my neck actually creates a lot of redness and irritation, so I usually just pat it into my neck. And what I also do with my moisturizer is I always make sure to pat it into my skin afterwards because I, I don't know why, maybe this is true, maybe it's not true, but I feel like my products absorb so much better once I pat it into my skin. And I don't know if that's because it's actually being absorbed by the skin more or if it's just being absorbed by my fingers more. I have no idea. Let me know down below because I would love to know the you know scientific explanation behind that. As some of you may notice, and most of these products are actually Korean, and that's because I love Korean skincare. I just feel like it encapsulates so much of just the modern, innovative, perspective that Korean skincare technology can bring and just incredible ingredients and formulas, just everything that I love about skincare in non-irritating formulas. One thing that's very prevalent on my channel in terms of messaging is going towards skincare that's not going to irritate your skin but contribute to the health of your skin. And that's something that I definitely try to focus on within my own skincare routine. You know, sometimes I wish I could just be like a model when I apply my skincare routine, like But no, it's like World War III over here on my face. I've gotten better. I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> I used to be like man handling my face when I applied my skincare routine. Now I'm much more gentle, but that doesn't mean it's beautiful. So I apologize to anyone who's watching. <laughs> All right, once I pat that into my skin, I go in with lips next because my lips tend to get really dry and I think overnight is a great time for me to just make sure I'm really moisturizing my lips so I don't have to apply a lip balm as much throughout the day. The one that I've been really loving is the Milk Makeup Melatonin Lip Mask. I think there's a lot of like underrated benefits to melatonin in skincare and I specifically like this one because it's very thick, it's very hydrating and it's gonna make sure that I do not wake up with dry lips. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it is formulated with lavender oil. So, you know, to me that I would consider that fragrance, but with lip products, it's so hard to find fragrance free formulas that are actually really effective at, you know, keeping the skin moist overnight. And this one works really well. Okay. And then for the final step, I go in with a skincare tool that I actually have not talked about on my channel before, so I'm so excited to provide an exclusive look into my skincare routine. It's actually a cooling globe, and it would be cooling globes, plural, if I hadn't have broken the other one and leaked out everywhere and got onto my carpet and stained it. So love that. <laughs> but you know, I just have one for now, but it's okay, it's the same tool, it just takes, you know, double the time, but it's still so nice. I love using this both at nighttime or in the morning, specifically in the morning on the under eye area because it really de-puffs the face. But overall, I just like it because typically with a lot of these like cooling tools that I've used in the past, sometimes they create such a heavy layer of like condensation on the outside that it almost feels like you're just kind of smothering water all over your face. And it feels like it's almost breaking up the skincare formula, but this one, I never noticed that. It really glides across the skin, helps to, you know, further push your skincare products into your skin without like leaving traces of water across the surface of your skin. And I always just leave this in the fridge overnight. And I always try to move it upwards in a lifting motion because there's really no reason to be dragging downwards. Like your skin does not like that. It does not need more gravitational pull. No, sir, not today. 
Ugh, normally when I have two, I do it so pretty. I'm not like Mr. Like T-Rex claws trying to push it all over my face. Normally it's very like visually aesthetic, but alas, the second one broke. But thankfully these ones are actually really affordable. I got this from Sephora and I think they were like 20 bucks. So not bad. We stan affordability. And I like to go on the neck as well and just push upwards. And this is just such a nice step just to like, ah, calm down, you know, focus on just like self care time. I think sometimes even with me, I tend to be so rushed in my life that I, you know, really rush through my skincare routine and using this is kind of a moment for me to just reflect and, you know, think about the self care part of skincare and have like a little bit of a meditative moment. I know I'm definitely guilty of looking at skincare from a utility standpoint where I'm like, I have this problem, how do I fix it? Let me use that as fast as possible. And that's not usually the best way to go about using skincare. I think self-care and indulgence and meditation is just as important for a skincare routine as is utility and repairing a problem within the skin. And I think tapping into both of those is where you can really find a passion for skincare. That's definitely what turned it from just an interest into a passion for me. And also just being able to feel so good about yourself once you start seeing good results within your skin, I think is so powerful. And that's one thing on my channel that I think brings me the most joy, true, true joy is seeing how people's skin has improved per recommendation of other creators or me um, and seeing just the confidence that comes along with their skin being glowy healthy happy oh it's just it's so cool to see how much of a positive difference it's made in people's lives and it's what drives me to keep doing what i do actually before getting into cosmetics i struggled with a severe eating disorder and it was really difficult to find, well, I had never had a moment where I looked at myself in the mirror and thought to myself, wow, I'm beautiful, you know? And it wasn't until I started using cosmetics that it really unlocked that opportunity for me to see the beauty within myself. And it wasn't about the products. It wasn't about anything, you know, material. It was just a pathway to be able to open my eyes to my beauty, you know, that I possess, inner and outer. And that's one thing I just love about skincare is that I think sometimes it can really be the unnecessary key to unlocking the door of confidence for a lot of people. It's not the confidence itself. It opens up an opportunity for people to be able to see themselves in a better light. And what price can you put on that? You know, once I started recognizing my own beauty, that's when, you know, the recovery became a lot easier, uh, a lot more enjoyable to manage as I slowly got better. And I think everyone deserves to see themselves in that same light. I don't think anyone should be excluded from seeing the beauty within themselves. Wow, we're getting emotional. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> see, this is why I love this part of the skincare routine. I can just oh, have this reflective meditative moment. And you guys just got to be with me for that. So double bonus. All right, and after we finish that, I am finished with my skincare routine. And this is where I pass out, I knock out, I wake up glowy, happy, and hydrated, which is the goal, always. <laughs> but yeah, this was my entire skincare routine. I hope each of you really enjoyed watching. Uh, I know I definitely had fun, as I usually don't get to, you know, show my own skincare routine. Thank you to all of the people who are watching this, and I can't wait to see if any of you react to my skincare routine and roast me, because I will be looking forward to every shady comment. <laughs> but thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.